This is the last narrated presentation for Module 3, The Cell. Let's get started. This portion of Module 3 will discuss chemical reactions involving the exchange of energy and the laws of thermodynamics. Energy is the ability to do work. That is to say, the ability to apply some amount of force to a molecule or system. Energy comes in different forms, including light energy, electrical energy, sound or vibrational energy, and thermal or heat energy. Kinetic energy is the energy that is used as present. Potential energy, that is that which is stored. Chemical energy is potential energy stored in the bonds formed between molecules. Power is the term that refers to how fast energy is used. Energy is never created or destroyed, only transformed. This is a universal law that applies in all situations. The sun is the Earth's continuous source of light or electromagnetic energy. Light energy is captured by living organisms called photoautotrophs. These organisms use sunlight to store energy in chemical bonds by forming sugars. Sugars and the energy stored in them can then be used to create other types of organic molecules like proteins and lipids. This diagram shows how living organisms use the sun for light energy and how living organisms give off some of the energy they store as heat energy. Enzymes are proteins that are important to chemical reactions because they allow reactions to take place more quickly. Enzymes are found in two different states, free or bound to a reactant. This equation shows a free enzyme along with an unbound substrate. The arrow in the equation indicates a reaction takes place. In this case, the substrate has bound to the active site of an enzyme. Finally, the enzyme separates from the substrate after the chemical reaction takes place and the products are released. The second law of thermodynamics states that when energy is transformed, there is less energy at the end of the transfer. Since energy is not destroyed, the energy that is lost during an energy transfer simply takes on a different form. Typically, energy that is lost is lost in the form of heat energy. Heat energy that is released as a waste product cannot be captured or used. ATP or adenosine triphosphate is a nucleotide that is used for energy. ATP is made of adenosine, ribose, and three phosphates. Hydrolysis is the process that splits a water molecule in order to break bonds between covalently bonded atoms. Adenosine triphosphate, or ATP, is the energy currency of the cell. ATP is a product, is produced as a product of cellular respiration when sugar is broken down. One of the three phosphate groups is broken off of the ATP to produce adenosine diphosphate, or ADP an inorganic phosphate and the release of energy. The opposite of hydrolysis is the process that forms bonds between molecules by removing a water molecule. One hydrogen from one and one hydrogen and one oxygen from another. This process forms water as a product and was referred to as a condensation reaction or dehydration synthesis. This is a review of the final portion of this module that focused on the physical effects of a cell and how cells can create and use energy.